Hello friends and welcome to today's lecture. Today's lecture is about introduction to food science. The objectives of today's lecture include to acquaint the students with what food science is, to highlight its importance, to throw some light on its components, to mention the roles of food scientists and to see what role it plays in food security. Let us first introduce food science. Food science is a discipline concerned with all technical aspects of food, beginning with harvesting or slaughtering and ending with cooking and consumption. Food science is the study of the physical, biological and chemical makeup of food, the causes of food deterioration and the concepts underlying food processing. Food science draws from many disciplines such as biology, chemical engineering and biochemistry in an attempt to better understand food processes and ultimately improve food products for the public. The discipline of food science has developed over the years as methods to preserve foods and ensure public safety began to develop. Numerous methods for preserving foods have been developed throughout history such as salting meat, drying fruits and vegetables in the sun or over low fires and converting milk into cheese. In the early 1800s, Frenchman Nicolas Appert developed a method for preserving food in glass jars. Aptly known as the father of canning, Appert is also considered by some as the father of food science. Modern food science, however, involves much more than food preservation. Food scientists and technologists apply scientific disciplines including chemistry, engineering, microbiology and nutrition to the study of food to improve the safety, nutrition, wholesomeness and availability of food. Depending on their area of specialization, food scientists may develop ways to process, preserve, package and or store food according to industry and government specifications and regulations. Associated with food spring various areas of practical importance, food technology. Food technology is the application of food science to the selection, preservation, processing, packaging, distribution and use of safe food. Food processing and manufacturing. Food processing is the treatment of food substances by changing their properties to preserve it, improve its quality or make it functionally more useful. Food manufacturing is the mass production of food products from raw animal and plant materials using principles of food technology. Food research. Food research is the careful, systematic study, investigation and compilation of information about foods and their components. Product development. Product development is the creation of new flavors, colors or varieties of existing products and or the creation of entirely new products. Quality assurance and quality control. Both quality assurance and quality control involve the process of ensuring that products are manufactured correctly and that ingredients and finished products are tested and meet safety and quality specifications. Food regulation. Food regulation is the process of determining standards for products, defining safety and inspecting products. Regulations are set by governments. Now let us see the importance of food science. Applications of science and technology within the food system have allowed production of foods in adequate quantities to meet the needs of society as it has evolved. The importance of food science can be identified from the following. Availability of food. Food science makes it possible for the majority of the world's current population of 7 billion to have much greater access to an abundant, diverse food supply that is largely safe, flavorful, nutritious, convenient and less costly than ever before. Sustainability In a world without food science, much of the food produced would be lost to spoilage and waste. Food scientists work to conserve resources during the entire chain of production. Food safety Food science provides the scientific base that ensures our food supply is safe from initial storage through processing, transportation and retail channels until the consumer purchases the product and beyond. Every day, food scientists are developing new processes, monitoring conditions and testing foods for contamination in order to prevent foodborne illnesses. 
longevity and health. Foods and beverages are important in moving the focus from treating diseases to reducing the risk and even preventing illness. Some 2500 years ago, Hippocrates espoused, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. And this tenet forms the basis for modern day functional foods and nutraceuticals designed to provide consumers with both nutritive value and a specific health benefit. Some well-known and successful examples of functional foods include table spreads incorporating plant sterol esters to lower the absorption of cholesterol and fermented dairy drinks containing peptides that clinically lower hypertension. Food science therefore provides and identifies the full range of products that consumers want, processes the products safely, identifies preferences of consumers and improves the final product in ways the consumer may not articulate but will accept enthusiastically, keeps prices within affordable market values, ensures shipping and provide protective packaging that is appropriate, handles the waste materials resulting from preparation and improves and identifies the nutritive content of the product and fit that nutritive content to human needs. Now, what functions food scientists carry out? Many food scientists are engaged in developing palatable, nutritious, low-cost foods. As food losses during storage and processing can be enormous, food scientists are involved in adapting and developing preservation methods appropriate and affordable to various regions of the world. Food scientists have developed thousands of food products, including those used in the Space Shuttle program. Currently, food scientists are developing systems which recycle foods for space voyages into deeper space. The largest single activity of food scientists working in industrial organizations is the improvement of existing and development of new food products. Consumers like to have new products available. Industrial food scientists must find creative ways to meet this consumer demand for new and different products. Food scientists today are often involved in altering the nutrient content of foods, particularly reducing the calorie content or adding vitamins or minerals. Reducing the calorie content is accomplished in several ways, such as replacing caloric food components with low or non-nutritive components. In other cases, Food scientists reduce the calorie content of fat-containing foods by replacing the fat with substances which have similar properties but are not metabolized in the same way as fat. Food scientists also find ways to add desirable vitamins and minerals to foods. Breakfast cereals are good examples of such foods. Most cereals have some added nutrients and some have a whole day's supply of several nutrients. One of the most important goals of the food scientist is to make food as safe as possible. The judicious application of food processing, storage and preservation methods help prevent outbreaks of food poisoning. Food scientists need to speak in many tongues, science, markets, manufacturing, agriculture and costs to name a few. Because food interacts directly with people, some food scientists are also interested in the psychology of food choice. These individuals work with the sensory properties of foods. Food engineers deal with the conversion of raw agricultural products such as wheat into more finished food products such as flour or baked goods. Biochemists often work with foods to understand how processing or storage might chemically affect foods and their biochemistry. Nutritionists are involved in food manufacture to ensure that foods maintain their expected nutritional content. Other food scientists work for the government in order to ensure that the foods we buy are safe, wholesome and honestly represented. Now the disciplines and areas involved in food science. As food science involves the applications of various basic and allied sciences, it is pertinent to understand how these frame their utility in food science. Following examples help to understand this. Biology and cell biology. These disciplines help in understanding of post-harvest plant physiology, food quality, plant disease control, and microbial physiology, as well as food safety. Biotechnology has enabled production of rice with increased content of beta-carotene 
enzymes for cheese making and bread making. Chemistry assists food analysis, improvement in food quality, extending shelf life and development of functional foods. Computer science aids food manufacturing process control and data analysis. Material science facilitate effective packaging, understanding of how material properties of foods provide structure for texture, flavor and nutrient release. Microbiology provides understanding of the nature of bacteria, beneficial as well as disease causing, parasites, fungi and viruses and developments and advances in their detection, identification and control. Nutrition science has made possible production of foods fortified with vitamins and minerals for health maintenance, functional foods for addressing specific health needs of certain subpopulations, development of diets that match human nutrient requirements. Physics and engineering enable efficient food manufacturing processes to preserve food attributes and ensure food safety waste reduction efforts. Sensory science helps to understand chemosenses to meet different flavor needs and preferences. Toxicology involves the assessment of the safety of chemical and microbiological food components and food additives. Apart from the basic sciences, food science itself associates various other fields based on the application of basic sciences such as food chemistry. It covers the basic composition, structure and properties of foods and the chemistry of changes occurring during processing and utilization. Food analysis deals with the principles, methods and techniques necessary for quantitative, physical and chemical analysis of food products and ingredients. Food microbiology is the study of microbial ecology related to foods, the effect of environment on food spoilage and food manufacture, the microbiological examination of foodstuffs, and public health and sanitation microbiology. Food processing covers general characteristics of raw food materials, principles of food preservation, processing factors which influence quality, water and waste management and good manufacturing practices and sanitation procedures. Food packaging is packaging of food to preserve food after it has been processed and contain it through distribution. Its main objective is to provide physical and barrier protection for food. Food engineering involves study of engineering concepts and unit operations used in food processing. Engineering principles should include material and energy balances, thermodynamics, fluid flow and heat and mass transfer. Let us now understand how food science enables food security. Food security features as one of the dynamic and complex challenge that the humanity ever faced in its history. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization, food security exists when all people at all times have physical and economic access to sufficient, safe and nutritious food to meet their dietary needs and food preferences for an active and healthy life. The world population clock is ticking continuously and every second past is adding to our total number dwelling on the earth. Therefore, complexity of this challenge demands urgent measures rather to assume that the food crisis will develop after a couple of decades in 2030 or 2050. A single event that may create large-scale emergency such as poor harvest in a vast region, drought, or famine would be enough to disrupt the world food supply, thus could force thousands of families to go hungry and end up with life-threatening situation that is severe malnutrition or even death. The solution of food security challenge requires world to ensure supply of sufficient, safe and nutritious food to everyone on our planet. This is not a simple task and multiple sectors, science and education, Research and development, social, political and regulatory changes need to move forward in a systematic and synchronized manner. Food science as a discipline has a lot to offer by maintaining the stability of food supply. A better understanding of the nature of changes in food with climate change could inform us of more appropriate processing technologies. Therefore, food science and allied disciplines have a role to play in food process innovation food safety and quality improvement and an efficient supply chain development. This will ultimately contribute to the availability of more and safe foods for a longer time period. 
One example how food science will be able to improve food security is removing the food allergens through food processing. This could put more food on table for people with specific conditions such as lactose or gluten intolerance. Another example where food science seems a major contributor is reducing the food wastage through improvement in food safety and quality as well as improved utilization. According to the United Nations, approximately 1.3 billion tons of food, that is about a third of the world's food supply, was wasted in 2030. A reduction in this waste stage will help to decrease the number of hungry individuals and offer effective solutions to the global problems. This was all about today's lecture. Hope you understood well. Thank you.